Well, today kind of screwed me up. I met with my counselor over a video teleconference and I didn't film any part of it, which is something that I like to do since it's in my room and I have that right. And I feel like conversations with counselors and psychiatrists should be filmed and put into the internet. But I think more responsibly than just the haphazard way I do it, I'd like to see a lot change in psychology. And one of the things that could really benefit humanity that psychology could do with AI and robotics is the creation of a sustained psychiatric observational cycle. And this algorithm would periodically check mood, check whatever it is, and it would get like actual data throughout the course of the day. For instance, when I met with my therapist earlier today, he asked me, do you feel suicidal? And I didn't, I said, no, I, I don't have that problem. Now, I was just thinking, man, I wish I was dead. If I had known that I was gonna think that, maybe I would have seen my counselor at a later time, or maybe I would have communicated it to him in a different way. Maybe it would have been relevant. And, but now I have nowhere to turn except the internet. And so that's why I think a robot with AI would be a good counselor. Also, I have witnessed in my time at the personal care home, it's a comprehensive mental health care one, uh, that a lot of people have voices and, you know, ghosts that visit them, that they talk to, people that they laugh at the, or with that aren't there. People have a whole narrative that their brain creates that doesn't have much to do with the real world. Sometimes, not everybody, and it's, but it's, I think it's a hallmark of insanity. Isn't that the popular myth? He's hearing voices, and we put that onto people without it being true. And more than that, we make it worse than it is. It's nothing. Just ignore it. It's not a problem. It's common. But if you start hearing voices, and then you have a robot with AI, and you can start interacting with it, it could be your voices. You could begin to communicate with yourself in a way that could hopefully coalesce your concepts of what is true and what is false. And on top of that, what is dangerous and damaging and what is healthy and sustaining. And a robot could, for instance, respond to words said to it that in a way that reformats them in a positive light so that the context of those exact words are positive and then just regurgitate them back to the user or the patient, however you want to think about the person with the robot, the owner. And when it does that, like I, I just said, I wish I was dead. What if it just said, wishing wishing you were dead forgets the wish that you're alive and it's such a simple piece of ai to do just like flip it and hear the opposite words and just make sure it's always positive don't use a double negative but you could program also sayings that psychiatrists and counselors often return to like that's okay that's normal that happens and it'll pass. Uh, it'll work if you just work with it. Um, you know, things just like truisms that get you through a conversation. These are something a robot could take over. And the advantage of the robot is that it is time sensitive. It's available any time of the day, not just during one hour sessions or one half hour once every month and then no supervision for the rest of the time. I think a lot of people that die have counselors from suicide, have counselors that are currently working with them. That's how failed psychology is. My bachelor's is in psychology. I'm ashamed of the field. We have not done, like, what do we have? I mean, neuroscience has already 
eclipsed us and completely changed the world of brain manipulation. But a lot of that is, is not blossoming yet. It hasn't been brought to fruition. And we are neglecting what we already have the technology to do. And that is match people to an internet-driven reward system of healing that gets people to commune closer with reality while injecting as much moral uh, good as, as is possible to inject. It just seems obvious to me that we could be doing better, and I don't know how I can play a role with that because I don't know how to make robots or AI. But I don't think it's impossible, and I think maybe I can learn more over time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.